Welcome to STEM Professionals. In this video, we will discuss the problems and conceptual exercises of Chapter 2 from the book James S. Walker. So let's start with the video. So here in this question, we are given that a physicist noticed that a ball is moving straight upward just outside her window and the ball is visible for 0.25 seconds as it moves from the bottom to the top of the window. Now the length for the window is given to be 1.05 meter. Now there are two parts in this question that we need to solve. In the A part, we need to find how much time does it take for the ball before it reappears. Now let me first show everything on the figure. So this blue frame, this is a window and this black one is a ball which is moving straight upward. And this, the length for the window is 0, uh, 1.05 meter. Now in this direction, it will be taking positive. Now the ball is moving up, so it will reach uh, here and then it will go above, reach to its peak value and then it will come back. Something like that. This would happen. This is the peak point where the velocity becomes zero. The, the velocity becomes zero at this point and then back and here at this position it will reappear. So what we have to calculate, how much time does it take before the ball reappears? So if we calculate the total time taken by the ball to move this way and then bottom. This is what we have to calculate. Now for that what we are going to do is, we will first find the velocity at this position. Let me mark the positions. Let this be the position number one. Let this be the position number two. This is the peak point and this is the position number three. Now if we are able to calculate the initial velocity at position one, then things will become easier. So for that, uh, we can do one thing. We can use this equation, which is x is equals to x naught plus v naught t plus half a t square. And we are applying this equation be between point one and two. So here x2, this x is the final position, which is x2 here. So x2 is equals to initial position. This is the initial position. Now we are measuring distance from this point. Here this is x equals to 0 and then it moves up. So x2 is equals to x0 we have 0 plus v0 we need to calculate. Now here the time taken by the ball to reach here at this point is one uh, is 0 0.25 seconds. So this would be 0 0.25 seconds and plus 1 over 2. Now acceleration uh, because this ball is in free fall and acceleration is al always the acceleration due to gravity is always downward so in this case a should be minus g so this would become minus g times t is 0 0.25 seconds and its whole square now x2 is this position this is x2 now this distance is 1.05 because we are already given the window is 1.05 meter so the value for x2 will be 1.05 meter so you can put it here this is 1.05 meter and is equals to 0 no need to write v0 times uh, 0 0.25 so 0 0.25 times v0 this is minus 1 over 2 g is 9.81 and multiplied with 0 0.25 and its whole square now we can uh, solve this further to calculate v0 so v0 will be equals to 5.4 meter per second so this would be the velocity for the ball at this position at this position now uh, we'll be calculating the time the ball takes to move from this position to the peak value from this point this one so for that uh, we can use this equation v is equals to v naught plus at and we'll be applying this equation between point 1 and its peak value. Now at point 1 the initial velocity we have already calculated acceleration we know and the final velocity at this peak point becomes 0. So we can calculate the total time taken by the ball to move from point 1 to peak point. So let's put the values now. Uh, 
let me do one thing uh, this v becomes zero here this is v naught and acceleration would be minus g times t so from here t would be equals to minus v naught divided by minus g now minus v naught we have calculated to be 5.4 meter per second and this time this g is uh, 9.81 meter per second squared so t and this t is from uh, point 0.1 to point p the time taken by the ball to move from point 0.1 to point p this is t1p so this would come out to be as 0. 0.55 seconds so this is the time taken by the ball to move from point 0.1 to point p now we are already given that the ball takes 0. 0.25 seconds to move from point 0.1 to point 2 and this total time we have calculated to be 0. 0.55 seconds so this time would be we can subtract these two value 0. 0.55 and 0. 0.25 so the time it takes from moving from point 2 to point p this would be equals to 0. 0.55 minus 0. 0.25 so this is equals to 0. 0.30 seconds so the time taken by this ball from uh, this point to the peak value is 0 0.30 seconds now we know that uh, the motion is symmetric about this point so the time taken by the ball to reach from the peak point to the point 3 would also be same to this value because of symmetricity so we can write that delta t from point 2 to point 3 would be equals to 2 times this value from point 2 to point p so 2 times 0 0.30 seconds so that would be equals to 0 0.60 seconds so this would be the final answer for the a part now next in the b part uh, we need to find what is the greatest height of the ball above the window so what we need to calculate this height so let this height be h so to solve the b part we'll be using this equation between point 1 to the peak value here so uh, the, let me write the equation first x is equals to x naught plus v naught t plus half a t square now uh, the final position is this value this is the final position and this final position is h plus 1.05 so we can put it here this is h plus 1.05 initial position is 0 so this is 0 and initial velocity we have uh, calculated earlier this is 5.4 so this is 5.4 meter per second and multiplied with time t now time t is the time taken by the ball from this point to the peak value so the total time that is this value 0 0.55 this value we have to take so this is 0 0.55 and second plus 1 over 2 now acceleration would be in the downward direction so minus g so minus 9.81 multiplied with t square t is 0 0.55 and it's squared now we can solve it easily we have only one variable h we can use our calculator to find the answer and it comes out to be as 0 0.44 meter so this height h this height h comes out to be as 0 0.44 meter so this is a maximum height obtained by the ball above the window so this would be the final answer